are you doing today? So, here at Red Barn Builds, we got another build coming up. But we're going to get it done. We're going to get the job done. Right, Rocky? Come on. What do you think? All right. Not a thought in that dog's head. So, Red Barn Build Door. Here you go. Custom painted. This is custom painted like, from a guy over Like 15 Italy. years ago? Yeah. Yeah, Italy. We're going to be installing a Mishimoto ancillary hose kit for my friend. Shout out to Evan. This is, this is, this is his car. Just kidding, it's not a POS, it's nice. So as you can see, these are all the hoses for the ancillary kit. First, what we gotta do is we gotta drain the coolant. Should make a custom exhaust for this. Yeah, cool. Evan, Evan should get a bigger turbo. Yeah. Should do a custom exhaust. That would be, that would be dope. That would be dope. Pulling on the shoes. You don't want to make a mess? That's the fun part. That's a lot of coolant. <laughs> coolant doesn't look that bad, actually. <laughs> then you just zoom in on me. <laughs> The first two ones that are easy, easily accessed are the two longest ones. These two guys. Mishimoto lines will make it better no matter what though. That's for sure. Anyway, this goes here. These don't feel that bad though. This one goes here and this one goes here, like that. This one goes to the radiator, this one goes to the uh, workflow hose, I think. So you like that. So we're gonna take the old ones off. Put the new ones on. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be on. Some pretty thick hose. Yeah, I don't Double see. Double C. I don't see that going on either. Double C kind of thick. Quick rip in the R. Or the Ranger. Take these with us so that we can get the hose primers to match up. Alright, cool. Yeah, look at me. Oh, we're going all the way to Home Depot? Heads up. God damn it. Donkey Tonk, the Donkey Donk. 
We could try automotive. It's like right over here. Trying to figure out where where these uh, hose clamps were. Just ask pro. That's what I said. Yeah. Pro desk. The pro desk. Shout out Christy. You gotta take a shower. Come here. All right, come here. You gotta take a shower. Come on. Come on. You gotta take a shower. You're all dirty. Shower dog. Shower dog. His hails, dude. That's a good one. Yeah, baby. Yo, what's up? Got all the hose clamps. Just needed some smaller, relatively small and big hose clamps for those Mishimoto. Uh, um, uh, a Sanerary. A Sanerary. Yep, yeah, head back. I'm gonna get them installed. Skirt. Mine and Johnson. Well, if you're recording, you sure aren't recording me. Great beer right there. We got the hose clamps. Bunch of hose clamps. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and put these hoses on. Get it all tidied up. You can't do that and video record at the same time today. Shut up, Herm. Oh, you shut up. Yeah, seriously, shut up, Moss. <laughs> YouTube video or not? What are you doing, Ma? I'll spray you with the foldy, son. Yeah, well then, I don't want that cologne. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now on to the next. Okay, so next, the next hose is the PCV hose. It's located right here. So what we gotta do is we gotta take top part of the intake box off and then we gotta move the coolant reservoir so we're gonna take the MAF sensor off take your filter out not too bad it's not new but it's not old 12 millimeter There's one on the side right here. A millimeter um, nut. Gotta get that too. And then just pull this hose. Get that off there. So there's a hose clamp right down here, if you can see, right in there. So that hose clamp for the PCV goes up all the way to here. So we're going to take that hose clamp off real quick. Okay, so we got it off. Down there. Hey, 
yourself in the face with the hose. That's always the best thing to do. So there it is. Stupid old clips. It's all in there. There was no hose clamp on that when it came off. So no hose clamp going back on. The next hose is this guy. Not sure if there's a clamp down there. I don't think there is. Nope, definitely not. Just old. Just old. So this one replaces that. Completely seated down there. This goes right there. Like that. Now for the next hose. Okay, so the next. <laughs> How you doing? So the next hose is this. This goes from the turbo. This is a turbo feed line. Or a return line, one of those. <laughs> and now you should put the new hose on. Try and use new clamps if you have them. Do you have them? Yup. That's a good shot. <laughs> Herm. No way, Herm. <laughs> One more time for the people. There's no way, Herm, that that's for that. No way. Nope. and they don't need a fucking balloon. Uh, yeah, I know. Especially not a balloon that's just drifting across America. Yeah. Recommendation from Mishimoto. You should sponsor us. But you gotta fix that hose. <laughs> that hose is not big enough. Not big enough! So that was the sixth ancillary hose. It's a pain in the ass. Should reattach all those 12 millimeter the bolts and the nut down there. And I had to disconnect some hoses because they're in my way. So we're gonna go ahead and reconnect those hoses right now. And then... Anyway, all right, here's that S-shaped one coming off from the turbo return or feed. Don't remember exactly which one it is, but yeah. These two are on, this is on, this is on, the PVC, PCV, hose is on, this is on, this one is on, in there. Uh, we got three more to go. Alright, now we're going to go over to that side and get those hoses done. So... Next hose is this hose. It's the other side of the PCB pipe that runs across the intercooler. So we're just going to take that off. As you can see, we're going to put this clamp back on there. Just 
slide that down over it. This is just play it. Play it. Play it. Just give it two more rings. Play it. I want the phone to ring. Master mechanic over here. What you talking about this? I'm sure master mechanics wear this every day. Excuse me. What are you babbling on about over there? Next hose is this long skinny guy, and we gotta take the intercooler off for that one. That one is this. This damn thing. Pain in my ass. Got something to say. <laughs> I got something to say. All the leaves are brown on such a day. Hey Red Barn Builds, this is uh, at Koozie Sports, Stephen. Red Barn uh, Builds, what's going on? This is Blue Barn Builds. Yeah. Yeah. Blue Barn Builds. Wow, this, this looks like a real bondage machine, huh? Rocky boy. What's with these little, these metal tips right here? How does someone get hit by that? That's gonna hurt somebody. Alright, I started it. I just want y'all to know that. He comes after me every time. I'm gonna go kick him directly in the nuts if he's not in here in five seconds holding this camera. Oh, great opportunity. This little hose goes down there on the nipple, if you can see it down there. Yeah, see the nipple see down there? So that's where it goes, and then it goes to the top right here. So, this is gonna go down right there like that. Alright, uh, just gotta put the, uh, just gotta put the, uh, intercooler back on. What's going on, blue arm builds? So, if you come over here, it's a pain in the ass. This hose down here makes a 90 and then heads straight back and then connects to the intercooler over here. Connects to the intercooler right here. There. This goes. Two nuts go back in here to the diverter valve. I'll tell you this, if you hear what they're saying back there, you'd be disappointed. <laughs> I'm not disappointed in, in this view right here. PCV hose back on right here. Usually there's two bolts, one right here and one right here that bolt up to the intercooler and hold this pipe right here, but there, there's no bolts there. So, yeah. So we're gonna put that hose on there. And maybe I'll try and find a bolt that goes in there, just to hold that there. Yeah, so I found a bolt that fits in there. So, got that hose in, got the intercooler back in. Oop, gotta do one more thing. Gotta tighten this hose clamp up. Don't wanna forget about that. You're doing work for some guy, right? Yeah. Guy named Evan. What we gotta do now is we gotta fill the coolant, fill the coolant back up, and then bleed the coolant. Um. Yeah. So now we're gonna jack it back up. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I made a mess. If you go look up under there, I made a big old mess. That's silly. Sorry, we're not as cool as Jimmy Oaks around here. Ha <laughs> ha
this is the best part of the whole video. So, right now what we're doing is we're bleeding the coolant system, getting all the air bubbles out of the system. If you have air bubbles in the system, your car is going to overheat. You don't want a super to overheat. Taking this thing for a test drive, making sure it doesn't overheat. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Say, little bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Hit the score, I can get them both.